Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me what are Baker and Marchman Acts. Baker and Marchman Acts are civil, not criminal commitments. Baker Acts deal with purely mental health situations, and while mental health issues may also be involved in Marchman Acts, those are designed to deal with substance abuse, be it alcohol, drugs, or a combination. In both Baker and Marchman Act situations, a committed individual gets evaluated by a team of medical and mental health professionals to determine whether or not that person poses an actual threat to herself, himself, or others. Although anyone can voluntarily submit themselves for evaluation, Baker and Marchman Acts usually involve people who have been committed involuntarily, be it at the behest of family, friends, doctors, or even the cops. If you're committed under the Baker Act, then assuming that you meet the criterion for involuntary detention, you can be held for up to 72 hours in a mental health treatment facility. Under the Marchman Act, you can be detained for involuntary assessment and stabilization for up to five days. Under either act, should a determination be made that you're stable, then you're going to be released. But if the maximum time passes and it's still believed that you continue to present a danger to yourself or to others, then the matter must be taken before a judge, and you will receive due process, including notice, counsel, be it private or appointed, and a right to be heard. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.